Hi guys, my name is Gwina Gemsville and welcome to a walkthrough of the Love and Treasure Discovery quest in Sims Freeplay. This quest came out with the Valentine's update on the 30th of January 2018. When you go into your game, you will get this pop-up that says the private island. Celebrities, pirates, romance, an island escape. What more could a sim want? So obviously you have two options here. You can click on not now. But why would we want to do that? We of course want to go ahead and go and visit it. When you click on visit, you will get this where you have to build the private island. So this may be different for everyone. I'm not entirely sure. But for me, it takes two days and 18 hours to build. It's going to cost three and a half million simoleons. Wow. And I need 23 sims to do this. So let's go ahead and click build and get this started. If for whatever reason you decide to not start straight away, to access the island, you come out onto your sim town map and over here by the bridge, this is the island. You can just go ahead and click on it and you get that pop up again and then you can build it. Once your island has finished building, the circular icon around it will start flashing so you can go ahead and click on it. And that begins the new quest, the love and treasure quest. So we have eight days in which to complete this quest. It says your Sims favourite pirate themed dating show has come to town with a chance to win the ultimate celebrity date. Will your Sim prove themselves worthy or sink without a trace? Let's get started with the quest. So the prizes for this quest, it says complete this quest within the time limit to earn some luxurious booty, the private island villa. So we get the private island villa if we complete it within the eight days. And just by completing the quest, we will earn the private island with access to horse riding and other relaxing activities. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the park. Holy moly, your Sims' favourite pirate-themed dating show, Love and Treasure, is coming to Simtown. This season, Love and Treasure is offering a chance to win a private island getaway with a super celebrity, Prim Adonna. For the next challenge, there is an opportunity for a Sim from Simtown to join the show as a pirate boarder. So let's go to the park. On your town map, just click on the park and that will take you in. Once over here, if you go into your sim tracker and then just whistle over a sim and that is task complete. Now we need to listen to LJ Silver. Your sim rushes to the park and spies the host of love and treasure, LJ Silver. Better check out what's going on. Listen to what LJ Silver has to say about being a boarder on love and treasure. So if we go over, we have an exclamation mark and an X. Oh look, there's some recording going on. If we click there, I need to listen to LJ Silver for 30 minutes. We have listened to him, now we need to set best time. LJ Silver announces that one sim can win the coveted border slot to join the show and be in the running for a date with Prim Adonna. To qualify, your sim has to prove their nautical and captaincy skills. Have your sim set the fastest time with a speedboat in the pond. So the pond is over here, there's an exclamation mark if you can't find it. Just click on it and set best time for 10 minutes. Oh look! A little speedboat. I love that. We have set the best time. Now we need to listen to LJ's announcement. Boom! That was a killer run. Has your sim done enough to take the border slot for a chance to win the romantic island getaway with Prim? Have your sim listened to LJ's announcement as to the sim who will be joining Love and Treasure? Let's click on there and listen to LJ for one hour and 40 minutes. Oh, I feel like we have a few other contenders here. We've listened to his announcement and now we need to go to the private island. What person would not be impressed with those captaincy and navigational skills, says LJ Silver. You have what it takes to be a finalist on Love and Treasure. You will join Wizard Wickham and superstar actor Brian Hatchling as the final three contestants. Time to go to the private island. So let's go out onto the town map. This is going to be our first look at the island. Once out onto the town map, go up where you built the island, click on it, and we will go into the island. Here we are on the... Whoa, it's a small island, much smaller than I thought it was going to be. And I think we need to whistle over a sim, actually, to complete the task. Yeah, there we go. Go to the private island. Now we need to assemble with the other contestants. Your sim arrives with the other contestants, Wizard Wickham and superstar actor Brian Hatchling, on Private Island. Everyone has gathered to hear what will happen next. Have your sim join the other contestants. 
So let's go over here where the exclamation mark is and assemble for three hours and 20 minutes. Let's just take a quick, it is very small this island. The next thing we need to do is to chat to Wizard Wickham. Welcome to the private island, says LJ Silver. Time to settle in before the next challenge. A chance to win a one-on-one -on -one date with Prim. What a great opportunity to chat to the other contestants, thinks your sim. Have your sim chat with Wizard Wickham. Let's click on Wizard Wickham and chat to him for 4 hours and 10 minutes. We finished chatting to the wizard. Now we need to introduce our sim to Brian Hatchling. Oh hi, says the wizard as your sim approaches. Why am I here? Sometimes I think all folks want me for is my magic. I want to find someone who will look beyond the wand, robes and pointy hat. Well, that's totally fair, thinks your sim. <laughs> Time for your sim to introduce themselves to Brian. So let's click on Brian and introduce for 2 hours and 30 minutes. We've finished introducing ourselves. Now we need to listen to LJ announce challenge. Hi, says Brian. Isn't Prim delightful? And you seem wonderful too. I can't see how she can possibly go wrong with such a great group of contestants. Wow, Brian is so great. Is that DJ Silver calling? Must be time for the challenge. Have your sim listen to LJ announcing the challenge. So again, click on the exclamation mark and listen to LJ for 6 hours and 40 minutes. We've listened to LJ announce the challenge. Now we need to choose an outfit. Ooh, time for the next challenge, says LJ Silver. A chance to win a one-on-one -on -one date with Prim. The lucky winner will need to impress Prim with their dress sense. Contestants, time to dress to the nines. Have your sim choose an outfit in the Island Villa wardrobe. So I think that, ooh yeah, the Island Villa has all of a sudden kind of appeared. Or was it already here and we just hadn't got it? I think it had already been here and it was on the second floor. Silly me. Okay, so here is the Island Villa. That is adorable. I hope we are going to get the chance to win that bed because I saw that in the trailer and I really did like it. And look at that lamp. That's adorable. Okay, so let's click on here. I think here we can just change into whatever we fancy. Seeing as we're on an island, maybe I'm going to go for something a bit beach looking. Here we go. Here's my outfit. I've decided to keep it quite casual. And that is task complete. We have chosen an outfit from the wardrobe. Now we need to listen to LJ announce winner. Hmm, that's an interesting combo your sim has selected. Let's hope that Prim is suitably impressed. Time to be judged. Have your sim listen to LJ announce the winner. So if we go back down to where everyone gathered, there's an exclamation mark. And we need to listen to him again for 4 hours and 10 minutes. Prim has made an extremely tough choice, says LJ Silver, but one contestant has caught her eye, and that contestant is your sim. Your sim has won a one-on-one -on -one horse riding date with Prim, but before the date can start, you need to change into something more comfortable. A swimsuit would be ideal. So we need to go into the wardrobe again, and we can just change into swimsuit, I think. We just click on the change into swimsuit no, clicking on change into swimsuit does not work, so we have to go back in and actually change our outfit. There we go, that is task complete on that. Now we go horse riding with Prim. That outfit is entirely appropriate for a horse riding date on the beach. Go horse riding with Prim. So do we click on the horse maybe? Yeah, click on the horse and ride with Prim for 9 hours and 10 minutes. She's not dressed for the beach, right? Look at her. She looks very nice, but she's definitely not dressed for the beach. I'm going to wait and see this interaction because I'm really curious to this. Oh, up we get. We look kind of odd. Me in my swimsuit and her <laughs> in a woolen coat. Oh my goodness. How adorable is that? Ah, We have finished horse riding with Prim. Now we need to discuss heat stroke with Brian. Your sim has a great time with Prim. She tells your sim how she loves connecting with people. Your sim feels hot all over. Is this love or a minor case of heat stroke? Your sim needs to talk to someone. Have your sim discuss heat stroke, true love, with Brian. So if we go over to Brian, click on him and discuss heat stroke for 4 hours and 20 minutes. We've finished talking to Brian about heatstroke. Now we need to discuss message with Wizard Wickham. Your sim gushes to Brian about Prim being their true love, their soulmate, the one. Good for you, says Brian. 
Prim is a great person. Wow, thinks your Sim. Brian is such a great understanding guy. What's that? Seems Wizard Wickham has received a message. Have your Sim talk to Wizard Wickham. So click on him, he has an exclamation mark above his head, and discuss message for 3 hours and 20 minutes. We have finished talking to Wizard Wickham about the message. Now we need to go to the park. Your Sim walks up to the wizard. I've received a notification of the next challenge, he says. We have to go to the park. Have your Sim go to the park for the next challenge. Now we need to receive the next challenge. Your Sim arrives at the park. What could the next challenge be? Nothing's going to stand in the way of their true love for Prim. Time for your Sim to get their game face on. Have your Sim hear the next challenge. So let's go ahead and click over here where the exclamation mark is and receive the challenge for 13 hours and 20 minutes. We have received the next challenge. Now we need to go to the private island. Today, begins LJ Silver, you will be searching for buried treasure in a challenge called Me Hearty. The treasure? It's Prim's heart. Due to legal reasons, it won't be Prim's actual heart. Instead, we will use an iconic representation. Each contestant will be searching a different location. The first contestant to find a heart and return wins the date with Prim. Let's head back over to the island. We've whistled a sim over. Now we need to search for the heart. Your sim arrives on the island. Time for your sim to get digging pirate style to find Prim's heart. Have your sim search for the heart. So we have cross and exclamation marks. If you don't know where to go, just look around the island and you will see an exclamation mark. Search for heart is one hour and 20 minutes. We have finished searching. We need to search again. Your sim searches the first location. There is a bottle with a message in it, but no heart. Let's move on to the next location. So search the next location. So again, you're just gonna follow the exclamation marks. Search for the heart is two hours and five minutes. We have finished searching for the heart. We still haven't found it though. Your sim digs deep, but there is nothing there. Time is running out. Your sim is panicking. One of the other contestants may have already found a heart. Search the next location. So again, we have an exclamation mark which guides us where to go. Click on it and search for heart five hours and 50 minutes. Look at her, she gets a little spade out and starts digging in her heels. <laughs> Task complete and have we found it? Oh, your sim digs in the last location. There it is, the symbolic representation of Prim's heart. Quick, better get back to the park with the treasure. Have your sim return to the park. So back over to the park, we know what to do by now, right? Once we're at the park, whistle over a sim. And now we need to give heart to LJ. Your sim returns to the park. Have they got there in time to win the date with Prim? Have your sim give the heart to LJ. Back over to LJ and give heart takes five hours. We have given LJ the heart. Now we need to go back to the private island. Your sim rushes up to LJ Silver and delivers the heart. You, says LJ, have finished last. The private island date goes to Brian. Your sim is so angry. They are the one in love with Prim, not some random, polite, considerate superstar actor. Your sim needs to know what happens on the date. Have your sim go to the island. Are we getting a bit stalkerish? maybe? <laughs> Back on the island, whistle over our sim. Now I need to spy on Prim and Brian. Your sim returns to the private island, still fuming. Time to spy on Prim and Brian. Find a good location to spy on them. Okay, so have we got like an ex... Yes, we've got an exclamation mark as to where to go. And we can spy over on the right hand side for four hours. This is so funny that we're spying. Look at this. <laughs> Creeping along behind them. Look at her. Hiding behind that tree. Okay, the date has finished. Hopefully we didn't get spotted. We need to discuss a cure. Your sim creeps up on Prim and Brian and finds them deep in conversation about their charity work and what great company your sim has been. Well... Doesn't your sim feel stupid with all their irrational jealousy and needing to spy? Your sim needs some advice. Maybe the wizard has a cure for jealousy. Have your sim speak to the wizard. So let's go and find the wizard over here. Click on him and discuss a cure for 8 hours and 20 minutes. Now we need to take a hard look in the mirror. Your sim finds Wizard Wickham on the beach. Hmm, he says. 
The cure you need is a mirror. A mirror that allows you to take a good, hard look at yourself. In the island villa, have your sim look at themselves in a mirror. So click on the mirror and on the right hand side, take a hard look. 9 hours and 30 minutes. We have finished that. Now we need to listen to LJ's announcement. Your sim looks at themselves in the mirror and what looks back is a green-eyed monster of jealousy. A transformation that occurred after a single date with Prim. This is no way to be, your sim thinks. What's that? LJ Silver has an announcement, so we need to go and listen to it for 4 hours and 10 minutes. We have listened to LJ's announcement. Now we need to approach Prim. It's been an incredible journey, but now it's time for Prim to decide who she will give the rose cupcake to and be her partner on the private island. LJ Silver looks at your sim. Please step forward and see if Prim has a rose cupcake for you. Let's click on her and approach for 15 hours. Oh, I wonder if she's going to pick us. Oh, she's given us a cupcake. Oh, I think that's good. Surely that's good. Prim leans forward and hands your sim a rose cupcake. I have loved our time together. You have been caring, considerate and compassionate, she says. But what Prim has said is not entirely true, thinks your sim. There was the seething jealousy, the whole spying thing. Really, it is Brian and the wizard who have been considerate and compassionate. Your sim has an idea. Give the wizard a cupcake. What are we doing? No. Okay, so let's click on the wizard and give him the cupcake for an hour. So we have given him the cupcake. Your sim hands a rose cupcake to Wizard Wickham. The wizard has been a great sounding board and reality checker to your sim. And then there's Brian. Have your sim give Brian a cupcake. So we need to give one to Brian now as well for four hours and ten minutes. Your sim hands a rose cupcake to Brian. Brian has been so supportive and non-competitive. Gee, Brian is great. Looks like LJ Silver has something to say. Listen to his announcement. Okay, so let's click on the exclamation mark and listen to LJ for 15 hours. We finished listening. What a true act of selflessness. For the first time in the history of love and treasure, a winner has shown that the pursuit of love does not always have to be a competition. To thank this selfless sim, I would like to offer love and treasure's unconditional access to the private island. Have your sim accept LJ's offer. Of course we want to accept that offer. Let's click and accept his offer for 21 hours and 40 minutes. We accepted his offer. Now we need to leave the island. Your sim steps up to LJ. Before I give you the keys to the island, says LJ, you should know that the production crew will be dismantling the house for our new series, Nautical or Nice. Oh well, thinks your sim. Time for your sim to leave the private island. Have your sim leave the island. So we can just click on the go home and our sim will leave the island. And that is task complete and that is 100% on the quest complete. Congratulations from sailing to navigating, horse riding to treasure hunting. Your sim has acquitted themselves admirably. Congratulations, your sim has earned the private island and island villa. Build the island villa on the private island now. So once you have completed the quest, you can see that you can now build on the island. And if you click on it, you can build the island villa or the private island. So let's build the island villa, which we have one free of. And then also in our home store, we have 24 new items. So let's take a look at those now. Basically, all of the things that were in the island villa, we can now put into our own houses. We have some stairs, we have the bed, which I definitely wanted, the brown fan, it wasn't a light, I think I called it a light, it was a fan. We've got some nice chairs, sofas here, and that plant. I am pleased with all of that stuff. Now, once you have built the villa on the island, you can then go into it like you can other houses. Let's view the house. And then we just have the island with the cute little villa on. Now, I'm assuming that we can customize this and add floors and things. Let's just check. 
floor construction. Yeah, we can. We can add additional floors onto there if we wanted to make a little island villa bigger. I feel like maybe it needs a kitchen or something in it. But that is fully customizable now that we have built it. Or if you didn't complete, or if you didn't complete the quest within the time limit, you won't get the villa. You'll just get the island. There you go. That is the completed love and treasure quest. I hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough of it. Let me know what you think of this quest down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Bye. Yeah.